Hi everyone, I'm Charlene Havermeyer of Good Parenting Brighter Children, and this is Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents. As I've mentioned to you in various other episodes, is that the brain <clears throat> it really affects there when you play learn how to play a musical instrument that it particularly affects three areas of the brain the auditory, the visual, and the motor cortices of the brain. And I also said that I was going to break these down and talk about and how each one of these uh, parts of the brain affects learning. So let's talk about the auditory uh, cortex of the brain. This is extremely important. It's necessary for reading and writing, spelling, and so forth. Now, when a child has learning disabilities, it always starts with auditory processing. In other words, they can hear fine, but they're not understanding what they're hearing. So it's very, very important for, for that auditory cortex to be working properly. Let's take for reading, for example, how the auditory cortex of the brain impacts reading. When a child learns to read, they use their ears first, not their eyes. And many parents have said to me, well, of course they use their eyes first. They're looking at the words on the page. And I said, yeah, they're looking at the words on the page, but they have to hear what that word sounds like before they can actually say the word. Another way to explain it to you is if I held up a word in a foreign language, let's say an Asian language like Japanese, Chinese, or Korean, where they have a whole different alphabet system than ours, and if I was to hold that up to you and show you, and you could look at it until the cows came home and said, I don't know what that word says, and until someone said it to you, then you would know how to say it. But when you're doing that little exercise, you're using your ears first, then your eyes so it's extremely important that the auditory cortex of your child's brain is working up to par so that they're able to hear the different nuances of that particular word so they'll be able to say it and that they will be able to memorize it and remember it. Now, what's a really interesting thing about the auditory cortex there are what are called tonotopic maps. You can read all about the tonotopic maps in my book, Good Music, Brighter Children, but just in a little short clip, the tonotopic maps, when they look at them in the auditory cortex, they determine the pitch that you hear. So when you hear music or a song and you're listening to it, those tonotopic maps kick in. The tonotopic maps look like a piano keyboard which is fascinating. When researchers looked at the auditory cortex, when they looked at specifically at these tonotopic maps, they look exactly like a piano keyboard. What they've also found is kids that are involved in playing a musical instrument or, and remember, actually singing is a musical instrument, your voice is a musical instrument, they have found that those tonotopic maps are 25% larger which means that your auditory cortex works much, much better. You're going to be in tune to all of those nuances. Kids who have a strong auditory cortex, who play musical instruments, they also pick up languages, other languages, really quickly and much better because they're able to hear the nuances of those particular languages. So this is all important. Now, what you want to do is obviously get your kids involved in playing a musical instrument. The other thing is you want them to listen to music. So, for instance, I already talked about how important it is for them to listen to certain t uh, pieces of classical music when they're studying. Have them listen to music when they're getting ready for school in the morning. Have them listen to music as they're falling asleep at night. Have them listen to music when they're playing with their friends in the house. Think of all different ways and different types of music. Once again, um, I talk about this in my blog, which the link will be below, and I also give um, a lot of tips and, and so forth in my resource section about different programs. Let me tell you one program that really helps to develop the auditory co uh, cortex is the Kodai program. Kodai it was developed by Zoltan Kodai. Uh, uh, Hungarian many years ago and kids learn to sing without the accompaniment of like a piano or something behind them. So they learn to sing on perfect pitch and in order to, to do this they're developing the auditory cortex and making it very strong. Look into those different things that you can do and different CDs. Again, I've listed all of those in my resource section. And they're not just all classical music. They're all different types of music that your children will enjoy. 
Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, and I almost forgot the quote. Music is a more potent instrument than any other for education. That's by Plato. And music is an incredibly important part of our child's education. Thank you for joining me now, and I'll see you tomorrow.